Hi. Welcome to my kitchen. Okay, I know it's it's uh, it's not the prettiest, most aesthetically pleasing background, but it's what we're working with. All right. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make Katie's. I'm gonna show you guys how I make Katie's world famous tacos. First things first, I'm the best. Don't mock my pan, okay? It's been burned. She's she's seen some shit. All right. I also got this at the dollar store. So she she tends to. It's clean. It's clean. It's clean. So here's why my tacos are so fucking good because I know what I'm doing. Now, one thing I always do when I'm cooking, pour myself a nice glass of wine. I'm trying to make it last because I usually do one glass while I'm cooking, one glass while I'm eating. That's how it's done. Oh God, it's great to be over the age of 21. Oh, another thing. My meat is vegan. Okay, let's dive in. So what I like about the vegan meat is that it's not too tough and there's actually a lot of flavor in it but I add a lot of my flavor too. Put a little oil in that pan. I put it at like, I guess you could put it, put it at like full volume. I just, I don't know, I just turn the knob and it, it heats up eventually. So while that's cooking, let's prepare the other ingredients. By the way, if you see a little critter, a little roachy roach, just crawling, just mind your fucking business, okay? I live in Florida, it's humid time, it's rainy season. The roaches, it's, it's inevitable. They're always around. They're just always fucking around. So just don't, Mm. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Okay. I feel like I fill my tacos up a lot, but maybe to some people I don't do enough. But I like to get as many different flavors, different colors in there as I can. So first I'm going to start off with my onion. Chop that bitch up. I have never cut an onion properly in my life. I don't know how to cut one properly. I don't know how you like skin it, whatever it's called. How do you get this? How do people get this skin off so easily? Remember what I said about seasoning my tacos? So here's what I use. I know you're probably gonna look at me and be like, that's not fucking seasoning. It is to me, okay? Taco, well, it is a seasoning. It's taco seasoning mix. I went for original. This adds so much flavor, it's not even funny. You guys, it literally smells so freaking good. You're probably wondering, are these tacos completely vegan? No, they are not. Only the meat is vegan. I still have regular sour cream, regular cheese. Why, you may ask? Because I like regular sour cream and regular cheese. Oh, here come the tears. You guys, it smells so good. The, the meat, not the onions. The onions smell like the boys' locker room in sixth grade. You know what I mean? Why do, why do onions make you cry a bit? <sighs> Burns. I got Mexican, Mexican style cheddar jack, shredded iceberg lettuce. We already have our onions. Okay, so this is something new that I started doing. This is chopped. I don't know my ring light. I'm sorry. This is chopped green chilies. Is that how you say it? Chilies? Chilies? Uh -uh. Chopped green shit. But it's so good. If not one person tries these tacos at home, I'm gonna be so upset. Okay, and I'm excited because I know I've already had this before, but I wanted to get something new to try in front of all of you. So I have regular mild, thick and chunky salsa, but I got something new. I wanted to try salsa verde. Verde, it's medium spice, tomato salsa with a hint of jalapeno. Just squirted everywhere. Oh, my phone is just blowing up. Sir, I don't wanna to talk to you right now, I'm busy. Bullies. These are high school fucking bullies. Sorry, if you're not from Vine or, I'm mean, not Vine, if you're not from TikTok, you won't understand that reference. I'm trying. I don't know why I blew on it as if it was hot. Okay, okay, here's my thing. It's good. It's good salsa. However, it tastes just like this. So we're not gonna put that in twice. I'm gonna keep this in the fridge, but it's not yet. Okay, so now it comes time to make the tacos. So I prefer to make tacos at home. My reason being because they always do like a little dollop, dollop a daisy, a little dollop of sour cream on top. When you bite into your taco, that shit goes overboard, right? You're not getting anything of sour cream. So we're gonna fix that right now. First of all, we got the stand and stuff shell, okay? You see at the bottom, it's thick. She thick, okay? She could fit more meat in there. She wants to stand up on her own. We don't want that round bottom shit. 
You're gonna take the sour cream and that's gonna be your glue, okay? I'm not gonna use this much on just one, but you're gonna coat the inside of the shell so every bite, every bite has a little bit of sour cream. If you like sour cream as much as I do, and I love me some sour cream. I just got a flashback. Has anyone ever seen Here Comes Honey Boo Boo? I just got a flashback of when homegirl ate a spoonful of mayo from a jar. All of my, you can see all of my tacos are now coated with the sour cream. Okay. So now it's an interesting, I don't know how to, if you could see the meat, it's almost like an interesting texture. It kind of looks a little bit maybe like, I don't know. It's not as tough. It's not as tough. It's definitely a little bit more soft, but it's good. I promise. It's really good. I hope you guys try it one day. Oh. Oh. Just kidding. Now, I don't put that much meat, as I'm literally stuffing it with meat. I don't put that much meat because we're going to put so much more on there. I think I'm going to go in and do the onions first. Get a little onion action so the juices really seep into the meat. Oh, there's a lot of onions. I like to do like maybe like wet, dry, wet, dry. So I think I'm gonna go in with the lettuce next. Sometimes I don't wanna be happy. Okay. See, she even though she's a thick shell, she's already full. She's already full. But are we gonna stuff her more? You damn right. I'm gonna go in with the salsa. And then, oh. Uh, mmm. Mmm. And then we're gonna put these little green chiles. Ooh, chile. I'm just kidding, have you guys ever seen that vine? I don't know. But we're not done yet. There's still more and it's already stuffed. There's still more. So now, cheers. We're gonna go back to dry. Now we don't really care about presentation. The prettier it looks, honestly, the, the worse it's gonna taste. You want that shit to look ugly. You want that shit to look like a mess. Oh, now she's toppling over. Now she's toppling over. I know what you guys are thinking. I know what you guys are thinking. It doesn't look like a taco. You're right. That's why we're going to go back in. I love my sour cream. We're going to go back in and we're going to top it off with a dollop of daisy. Oh my God. I can't wait to try it. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh look at that. Look how full she is. Look how messy she is. Oh, fuck. Get in my mouth. Uh. I'm just kidding. Someone told me, they were like, you seem a little desperate. Honey, I promise you I'm not desperate. I'm just fucking bored. So I do random shit. All right, ready? Mmm. Could you not? That is the best meat, meat I've ever had in my life. I promise you guys, it is so good. Where's the brand? I'm gonna show you the brand again. There's different vegan meats. This one's Morning Star. Please, please try it. I'm not convincing you to go vegan, but it's just, it's actually a good ass meat. Cause trust me, I love cheese, I love sour cream. Ain't nobody vegan around here, but this is a good ass meat. The amount of flavors in this shit, it's like a fucking orgasm in my mouth. Mm, I just thought about how I could spice it up just a little bit. This is my favorite hot sauce, Crystal. You can get it at Wally World. See that? right in there I don't understand how each bite can get better and better it's oh man okay I'm gonna go watch Degrassi bye